Hey guys, Kestel Caden here. Today we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to actually install mod packs in your Technic Launcher. Now, if you don't know how to install the Technic Launcher, there should be an annotation in the top corner that I suggest you go to. It's the first part of this video series. And if you do know all that, then you'll know, for example, that we've placed our Technic Launcher right in our C drive, like right at the root, which makes things so much easier once we actually install mod packs, because then you'll be able to actually modify the config files much quicker than going in through app data. Anyways, so get started, right? Uh, we're going to be opening up our Technic Launcher to load up. And you can do this a couple of ways. You can install, obviously, the featured ones, which are not necessarily a bad idea. Some of them are actually pretty damn good. I like Attack of the B-Team. Vaults is pretty fun, etc., etc., etc. However, what we're really focusing on is the add a new mod pack. So what we'll be doing is going over to the Technic platform. You can do this a couple of ways. Uh, you can actually just grab a couple of the ones that are over here. But what I'm going to be doing today, because, hey, I'm Kestel Gaiden, and I figured, hey, why not, is we're going to be opening up our Reckoning mod pack. For those that don't know, um, I kind of created it. So it's a 1.7.2 mod pack, and all that you really got to do is copy paste this URL. Well, copy this URL from here. You can do this a couple ways. You can actually just control C it, or you can just click on platform URL or even the copy URL over here. It'll automatically copy to the uh, clipboard. So what you want to do is uh, scroll over this until you find add new pack. Click it, and you'll be greeted with this screen over here. All you gotta do is paste the URL in and it'll automatically go to this screen. You don't have to worry about changing the folder location unless it asks you to. Some packs are required to, but that's usually due to the mod pack owners. You can actually tick off a setting to force people to change the uh, folder, which is a little silly, but whatever. Or you don't have to worry about any of that. You just gotta click add mod pack and I'll automatically add it to the list itself. So there you guys have it. It's actually a fairly simple process. And all you gotta do is either double click or just scroll through and just hit play. It'll automatically start downloading it, which is, well, two thirds of the battle right there. We gotta make sure to have at least two gigabytes of RAM. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, check back in the first tutorial that I created. And again, in the annotations, it'll go over that. And especially if you can't actually find the fact that you have more than one gigabyte of RAM, but it doesn't only show up to one gig. So uh, there's some little quirks. There's some little quirks. Some mod packs are very beefy and they require a pretty decent amount of um, RAM, unfortunately. So as you guys know from the very first uh, tutorial that we created, we just created the Technic thing in here, or the folder, which again makes it really easy because we could actually just go to the mod packs folder, which we can then go to the Reckoning folder, and we have everything that we need over here. We can go to the config files and play around with everything that's created and modify those, or we can just remove mods, add mods, etc., etc. So that's about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And, you know, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, and don't forget the most important part, have fun.